Hi, my name, my, name, my name is Jim Haber. I'm with the Nevada Desert Experience. We're based in Las Vegas and focus primarily, historically, on the Nevada test site opposing nuclear weapons testing. Um, we oppose nuclear weapons in war because it's not just about the testing. And I want to under, underscore a point that Jay Conklin made that we need to be less site specific in general uh, to succeed. It's especially true at the Nevada test site. If you look at the current budget, there's a 6% decrease in the budget even though there's an $80 billion, I mean for the Nevada test site, even though there's an $80 billion increase in the nuclear weapons uh, footprint. So our point about the NTS is it's still active. They're shifting its mission some, at least cosmetically, because we know that to do big changes, there's going to be some elements of the military that really do want to do testing. And it remains uh, part of its mission to be ready to do a full-scale test again in two years' time if ordered to do so. Uh, the last test was in 92. Uh, some of the things that they do do at the test site, um, they like lease the area out as like one of the most secure places and they still act like the wind is predictable and so they do release toxins into the environment sometimes to do testing. Uh, they do testing of designs on motors and things like that for missiles, uh, like they just were testing a new drone engine out there. Um, they like to train, say that they're training personnel and not testing new weapon systems. Uh, so it makes our mission uh, a little bit harder to get people out there when there's real active stuff going on in Los Alamos, Kansas City, and, and here. Um, and so how do we energize people to come out there? Unfortunately, uh, Creech Air Force Base is nearby. Uh, 45 miles from Las Vegas as opposed to 65 miles, which is how far the Nevada test site is. And Creech Air Force Base is the headquarters of the Air Force's drone or unmanned aerial vehicle squadrons, the armed ones that are killing people in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. So we have taken that up uh, to a large degree. And that's what the Creech 14 is. Uh, some of the people here were arrested there in April over a year ago, and their trial is coming up September 14th. So we need to put our heads together on that. A couple of the other things at the Nevada test site that we're trying to take up is the faux environmentalism, or the greenwashing of the military. Uh, for example, the largest solar array, I think, in the world is at Nellis Air Force Base, also in Las Vegas. And they promote, at the Nevada test site, Operation Clean Desert, which is an environmental education program. They do do some environmental uh, remediation at the test site, which is necessary, and they look at water, they don't look at re other radionuclides. They haven't really checked in with the Western Shoshone about the health effects on them, and it's their land that the Nevada test site's on, though some non-governmental people have, you know, done world histories with the Western Shoshone about the health effects that they've seen because they maintained their indigenous hunting and fishing and stuff to a higher degree than a lot of other native communities in the country. So they have been really negatively impacted by the health effects of the radiation there. Uh, but that's not part of the governmental program. They're just more testing water, which is necessary. People hear about subcritical tests. There hasn't actually been a subcritical test for, for several years. Uh, there are some that were slated that are administered by the other uh, labs to take place at the test site, but they've been kind of on hold. Not sure why, um, but we're really, in terms of actions that we do there, it's more line crossing now. You know, the big stuff in the 80s and 90s to stop the nuclear testing did stop the nuclear testing to a large degree. Um, of course, there were over a thousand nuclear detonations there, but there haven't been any since 1992 uh, that sustained a chain reaction. Um, so there's a lot of line crossing. We've got some new guidelines so that we'll get our stuff back. Uh, they want to be really harsh on minors and parents if you were to bring people and cross the line. Um, but in terms of, so we're looking for creative ideas to do not just line crossing actions, but it also seems like some of the other facilities like Los Alamos and places it's easier access and there's a larger footprint in the military actions. I just want to contrast that with a Creech Air Force Base where they are significantly increasing the security uh, structure there. The gates have been reinforced. You can't walk up to the line to get across it anymore without having already stepped in the street so they could keep you from actually reaching the base itself. They're really taking a higher 
uh, higher level of um, intensity at Creech than they are at the Nevada test site, but that may change. So, um, and we do tie in also on the weapon systems because like Vandenberg Air Force Base is a very important place to me in my development as an activist, and we do also address that because it's sort of nearby, even though it's still several hours away, and that's where they test the missiles launching on the Reagan from, from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California to the Marshall Islands, also possibly the most radiated place in, on the planet. Thank you.